Eddie Howe repeats a key message to his high-flying Newcastle stars. Newcastle's head coach refuses to talk about qualifying for Europe. Or add pressure by saying what his targets are this season, or enjoy United's current fourth-place position too much. Why? It's never finished, it's never final, he warned. We have another game around the corner. You have to earn that right all over again. Regardless of what you did in your last game and what you have done to any point during the season. I believe you start from zero. Reset. That's a healthy thing to do. Howe's pursuit of excellence has been relentless. And approaching his anniversary in charge at St. James Park on November 8, the transformation of Newcastle into contenders has been remarkable. He's managed 39 Premier League games, 118, with a points total of 65. That's top six form if repeated over an actual season. For reference, Manchester United finished sixth last season on 58 points, with Arsenal fifth on 69. The fella from Bournemouth who got a team relegated. In the words of Steve Bruce, hasn't done too badly. And to think a year ago, Unai Emery was the club's first choice. And how not box office enough for a Saudi funded rebuild. In 2022, Newcastle have lost just once at home. To Liverpool, in 15 games, and the atmosphere at St. James Park is transformed, a cauldron of flag waving. Positivity and pride. And how is taking on Jurgen Klopp and co and defending my club in press conferences? Where do you think Newcastle will finish this season? Have your say here ah, uh, but they've spent all that money, £210 million on eight new players this year, so it's the transfer cash talking. True, they've spent well on bargain £35 million Bruno Guimaraes, Sven Botman, Kieran Trippier, Nick Pope and Dan Byrne have been the foundations. Yet, six of the team who started in the win over Spurs were part of Bruce's squad that won. Just once in 22 games up to January 21st last year and looked relegation certainties. How has it happened? How's influence can't be underplayed. Tactically and managerially, with players speaking of now feeling part of a family pulling for each other. His modesty, calm approach. Thirst for detail and clear instructions, plus an emotional intelligence that deals with players as individual human beings, has been key. There's a big team of assistant coaches sweating the small details, innovating set pieces, analyzing and probing players for more. Which players speak about as being vital. On the pitch it is not just the win tally and points total that has ticked up. 15 shots a game on average 11 last season. Expected goals 1.6, 1.2 last season. Possession 50.8% this season. Compared to 39.3% in 2021 22. They make 406 passes per game, 77 more than last year. Crucially, they force 10.6 turnovers a game with their newly ingrained, high energy, high up the pitch pressure game. 6.7 last year, defensively, they have conceded just 10 goals, the best record in the league, and as well as scoring, there's a love of a clean sheet. And a band of brothers mentality in shutting down opponents. There's a great picture of the back four and England keeper Pope hugging after a recent home game that is going to be hung in the training ground as a statement of team spirit. Just like the dressing room celebration snaps of the whole staff, which has become tradition after wins. How explains that picture was a really nice moment, capturing that feeling you have as a defender it's that feeling of elation. That is what you are playing for and sharing that success with people around you. As a defender, I lived and breathed for a clean sheet. Can I be part of that unit that keeps the ball out of the net? I do believe our defenders and team as a whole have the same mindset and it's really important. We have a very healthy attitude to defending. Behind the scenes. Despite fears of the club being used for sports washing, the Saudis have kept a low profile and let Amanda Stavely take the lead. Now they have sporting director Dan Ashworth and CEO Darren Eels driving the club, serious, experienced football people. The squad. 
set an aim of European qualification during pre-season in Austria. Miggy Almiron says they realized they were on a new level of fitness and form back in July. The higher they finish this season, the more lucrative a new, possibly Saudi cash, fair value sponsorship deal can be next season. Adding to transfer spending power and accelerating improvements it was supposed to be evolution and slow growth, but how and? His players are rising to the expectation and accelerating that process. And they still have record by Alexander Isaac, Allen. St. Maximin and John Joe Shelby to come back fresh from injury. They are well capable of being the disruptors during a season when the World Cup break and Liverpool's dip could create a big opportunity.